let's start by storing the current uh, skin clusters that we have. So I'm just going to select here all my geometries, including the body setup, and go to M gear, skin, and export skin pack in ASCII. I already have prepared um, folder structure here. We will check this folder structure later in a future video. But basically, I want to store it here on the data and create a new folder called skin. And inside, oops, I created two folders there. No, inside the skin, just name it this as skin. So I'm just going to export all this. It's going to take a few seconds. And um, so we can see here on my um, here on my folder that I have this skin and all the um, the data for each of the um, objects, and I have this. Um, file called skin.skinpack that contains a list of all these folders. So this is the one that we're going to call each time to re-import the, the skin cluster. Okay, so I have this done. So I can select all this and just go to skin and bind everything. So this keeps everything a little more clean than just deleting the rig straight and just going to delete the rig. Okay, so we have this ready to start. We have here the the guide from the previous tutorial. So let's start editing this. So the first thing I want to do is change my components for the arms and legs. So in this case, I'm using the component of type um, arm leg. I'm sorry, arm two joints one, and I want to change it to another version, version three. So to do that. You can you can do it in in this way. You can come here to the attribute editor under the root node in extra attributes. You have all these custom attributes that are the ones that stores the the settings that you see here. So these settings are stored here. So this is something that you need to edit carefully because this is like raw editing here on the on the interface when we use this. Um, this window here, it provides some kind of refinement, some kind of automatization. If you type a wrong name or something, it will try to correct you. Or if, if for instance, you have a limit on the max stretch and squash and things like that. But here it's a row, so you can edit whatever you want and it's not gonna correct you anything. So be careful with that. It's uh, something like, you know, big power, big responsibility stuff. Okay, so here I just want to use the tree that if you go here on the M gear head manager, if you don't know, the you have available of this one. So we're gonna use this one that it's basically is the same, but it has this elbow thickness control. So before when we see on the introduction when we collapse the, the arm or when we bend the the arm you see that uh, around the the elbow, it's uh, it's collapsing too much because the way that we are rotating this is not realistic. It, when we rotate our uh, articulations, there is not like a perfect rotation. There is a kind of an arc that it's happening inside the, the the bones. I'm not gonna go too deep on that, but yeah, basically it's creating not like a 100% rotation, but it's more like arcing the around the the, the bones. So in order to get that, I have this version three that has this option. So I'm just gonna update here to three. And why I know I can update this, normally if they're, the components named the same with different versions, you can do that. It's kind of compatible because it has the same number of um, locators on the on the component, like the in this case, the root, it has an elbow, it has a breast, and it has a, a vector. So all these elements, or, or components has the same um, a structure, so you can edit it there. They don't have the same uh, like attributes. That's important to remember because we need to update later. So, but the, for the moment, just point this to three. That's it. And here on the leg, it's the same, but here is not three because the leg is n they has less elements. So this is two. So I'm just gonna go here, select the the, the root of the the leg. And just type here two. That's it. That will change our um, components to another version. And now I'm just gonna delete this. 
I'm gonna try to mirror one and you will see what happened now. If I just come here and duplicate symmetry, well, it duplicated like that, but check out this. Now on my root, when I duplicate it like that, here I have this neat thickness that here on the other one, it didn't, it doesn't have that one. So if I try to build this, it's gonna error out. It's gonna say, uh, the guy doesn't seem to be updated, check the login message. So, and say, I can't find this parameter, neat thickness, because it's in the left side. So one thing to do it is just mirroring up and down and this will update your your guide but it's a kind of like I will say not dangerous but annoying because you have this part this part maybe you have more so you don't want to do that every single time and be careful so we have an option here so we select all the I mean the, the guide uh, top node and under the shifter we have this update guide so it's gonna do the same it's gonna update the guide gonna take a few seconds if we check here or log don't pay attention to this this is all this stuff and um, so here we can see that it load everything and here it's saying oh look I cannot find this and it says the guide is doesn't to be updated okay up to here and now it load the guide again and say the guy that's been up updated. So if we check here, on um, yeah, here it's the knee thickness is here. It's not at, at the bottom. You can see here, and for the arm, elbow thickness is here. So you can see this is being updated now. So now if I build, it's not gonna happen any any issue. Okay, so we have these uh, two components updated and I'm just gonna keep it like that for the moment and let's continue in the next video with adding some extra components.